everybody and welcome back to my channel if you are new here then i would love for you to stick around and subscribe it would mean the world to me um so today's video is going to be a room tour i've done anything interior wise for quite a while um we've lived in our house for just over two years now and we've had to renovate the entire property but my daughter's bedroom was the first one that we did um so she's actually going to be moving out of this room soon so i thought before we did her new bedroom i would show you her other bedroom that she's been currently in unicorn theme which i know is quite popular with a lot of little girls at the moment but she's going to be three and a half at christmas and she really wants a tp bed so we're going to be moving her into the slightly bigger room so she can have that bed and i'm going to do it a sort of um swan lake theme and uh, like roses and swans so sort of drifting away from the unicorns because she's had quite a while being obsessed with unicorns and do you a little room tour of how it is at the minute and yeah see what you think and i will try and link everything below but some of the things she might have had for quite a while but anyway i hope you enjoy so starting from um the hallway this is how we get into her room we actually have just done the hallway it's still in the process of being finished but this was her her room we got, we did first so we've still got a gate on just because the stairs aren't complete yet these are going to have glass on it so i didn't want her to be wandering down in the middle of the night um yeah so she's still got her stairs gate on partner did all this work himself so these are pre-finished doors and <laughs> um so yeah this is how we walk in so I have actually moved this bedroom around so many times. This is how it currently is. But she was in here when she was in her cot. And this is actually still the cot bed. Now, we'll be able to hear my baby attached to me in the sling right now. Boy. And this is going to be his cot. So, hence why we're moving the bedrooms. So, if I just pan round, this is like the feature wall. And this is the wallpaper from B&Q. And... It's sort of a take on the classic like candy cane stripe wallpaper, but I almost wanted it to look like a, a unicorn horn. So I'm not sure if it'll pick up on camera, but it is sort of like an iridescent um, sort of like metallic and it's almost like a light pink, and like a silvery grey. And then we also went for the pink carpet. She's got three grey walls. Now the grey is Dulux goose down i believe so i'll just come round this way to make it easy so here's where we walk in now i've only just put this in here this used to be in the playroom but this is her dressing up rail um, i actually diy'd this myself i just ordered the rail from ebay just a plain white rail i think it was about 20 pounds and then for either christmas or birthday i sort of you can see it says there her name on it dress up and then just bought her some of her first dressing up outfits so just move that up here now got the wardrobe now this wardrobe is actually originally from next they still have it in but where we live in south yorkshire we've got like a, a junk shop called refurnish and they basically have x next and other shops um furniture and sell it off for cheap so this would have been maybe like a display one that might have been slightly damaged. I think there was a few like scuffs on it. Um, but yeah, I picked this up for like £100. This is where we keep all of her bows. Now, the Instagram company that made this aren't, um, aren't available no more. They shut down for some reason. I think they were called Keepsake Shack. There's all of her things. I just have them just in the basket for storage. So when she goes into the bigger room, she might get a new wardrobe. But yes, yeah, so that's her wardrobe. And then up here, just a bit of storage. Up here, this shelf I got from eBay. I think it's about £13. And then it's just got some of the special ornaments up there. I think the rocking horse was from Dunelm. Somebody had the unicorn picture made for me the ballerina shoes are from Dunelm and then the little dangler sort of 
accessories like the unicorn marie i love a unicorn i think they were all just gifts which you tend to sort of pick those type of things up in like garden centers and that um porcelain doll was actually my mum's so she's given it to her she used to collect them so that's like a special sort of keepsake oh i'll just show you the light while we're here that's from Danelle, the fluffy light which i really like um i think it was the cheapest place to get it in Dunelm actually and then we've just got a blind there from b q um her night light which is from home bargains just a little tin that would keep her bobbles in and then the horse was actually from tk max but i diy'd it we used to have it in our old house before we had any children um, and it was like a grey, sort of shabby chic farmhousey style. But then when she was having the unicorn theme, I thought, oh, I'll make it into a unicorn. So I painted it white, but then thought it looked really nice without putting a horn on it. Um, so yeah, we just kept it like that. The curtains are from Next. The curtain pole is from Wilkinson's. And then in this corner, we just have her bookcase. She, we read to her before bed every single night. She absolutely loves her books. Um, and that was, I've got two. I've got one in the playroom and one in her room. And one I picked up from Argos and one I picked up from Aldi. And I think that was the Argos one. So they'll still have that one, but the Aldi one will have been a special buy. Just for storing all the books, especially if, like mine, you've got tons and tons of books that she just can't, um, part with and then we've got the rocking horse which she's had from her first birthday which now she's three she can actually go on it properly just a wash basket down there that was from home bargains as well a couple of cushions there on the floor because we did actually used to have where the canopy is that was her reading corner so when she was two and we took her out of her cot and made it into the cot bed the cot bed actually ran across that wall there so in order for her to sort of get into a bedtime routine with being in the bed, we made her the reading corner. So those big cushions there, which are from Matalan, they still have them, the blush pink and the grey. We had them on the floor in that corner. But she started wanting us to read the stories in her bed now. So that's why I thought I would switch the room round. That's just a big... Has anybody else got an endless supply of soft toys? Well, but she does take them all to bed with her. So that's just a toy box from B&M there with her toys in it. And then all of the special teddies that sit at the bottom of the bed. The bed itself, like I said, is a cot and it's actually silver cross. And we have the matching wardrobe in the nursery for my baby boy. So he's going to be getting this very soon. Um, we got an absolute bargain with that. I think we paid £650 for the cot bed and the wardrobe. And yeah, so we've used it twice. So that's been really good. Now the artwork is actually done by her godmother, my best friend. I can pop her Instagram below if anybody is interested in having anything done by her. I know that one's really popular. Everybody always likes the name one. That little money box I just picked up from Brig Garden Centre and then this one was also done by my friend too. Oh you can see my reflection, hello. <laughs> um, and then the cushions, mainly I've picked up just in like the middle section of Lidl. The bedding is from Aldi, it's sort of seen its day now but I only paid like £7 for it and it's done so well, it's washed so nicely. And I'm so sorry that it's not ironed. I don't iron bedding. <laughs> but yeah, the cushions, um, the pea, I think I got from Home Bargains. The um, unicorn was from Dunnell, which matches another bedding set that I've got. The cloud one with the stars on it, that's my favourite one. That was from Lidl, the middle section. So was the heart. And then the canopy itself, I just picked up. That's where it's pinned up from ebay so whether we'll keep that in the new room i'm not sure we might get a different one and the pom-poms my friend made i saw a lot of people was having pom-poms um sort of made out of uh, like lace and things like that dangling and my friend she makes pom-pom blankets there's a pom-pom blanket there um and i asked her if she could do me some big pom-poms to hang down and 
Holly absolutely loves them. So I'll link her page as well if you're interested in getting some of those. And then we've just got that just, I keep all of her bedding, spare bedding in there. Um, and yeah, and then we've just got a little fluffy rug there. That one was from the range. And then back out. So it's not a really, really big room. There's a swan. That's from Home Bargains. And that little bird on her door is from B&M. So that is it. I'll just pan back out again. So I just thought that I would just show you it before we change it. So there's nothing wrong with it. In fact, this is going to be the spare bedroom slash my beauty room. Um, so because it's got this nice wallpaper and the pink carpet, that'll fit my beauty room quite well. But I am thinking about changing the grey. I might change that to white because I am wanting the Malm Ikea dressing table and the Hollywood mirror, which might go this side. So once this room is turned into the beauty room, I can give you a transformation on that too. I'll just back up and show you. This is the one that she's going to be going in, which is shamelessly our junk room at the moment. <laughs> so a bit bigger, it's the sides of the cot. So she's gonna have a lot more space. So we're thinking about a big white TP bed. And yeah, just on Pinterest at the moment, getting some inspiration. One theme, it was actually the doorstop that made me think of it. Um, because she still loves unicorns and she's only three and a half, so she's not outgrown it, but I just thought I would do a more of a grown up bedroom for her and get my beauty room. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, yeah, so it's not a brand new bedroom, like I said, but I just wanted to just get it in there just to show you, just in case anybody was thinking about a unicorn theme. Um, and we've we've loved the bedroom up until now, but since doing the rest of the house, obviously then the first room that you do ends up looking quite dated. Um, and being a, like a little girl that she is, there's fingerprints all over the wall and things like that. So because that spare bedroom's only just been plastered, new carpet and painted white, we've got a whole new fresh canvas to start off with. And rather than me having that as my beauty room, um, we thought it'd be nice to give her a nice big room time as well it'll be a nice surprise for her so i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you like videos like this and i will see you on my next one